So I finally got my hands on the new Shimano GRX 12-bit group set, the gravel-specific group set, of course, from Shimano. And I got to take some pictures in a lovely golden hour sunset. So let's dive into it. Let's begin with the levers now. From the outside, you would say that they are exactly the same as the 11-speed 8 Tense. And I would say the same if I were you, because the only thing that uh, seemingly has changed is of course the additional click that they added in order to have speeds. However, what's also new is the optimization for flared handlebars. You see them a lot on gravel bikes in order to have more control when uh, the road is more uh, challenging. But you also see them now on the road uh, ridden by uh, people like Tadej Pogacar or the like. Specific group set right here that I built up is the 1x12. So the left lever does not have the possibility, of course, to change gears. And it looks a bit more minimalistic, of course, uh, because you only do the braking with it. The other features, the anti-slip coating on the brake lever, the servo wave braking, this all still in there, of course, because you would need a little bit of an upgrade, right? You can't let those features uh, just go away. Brake Caliper has seen a redesign from the ground up, I believe, because as the new Altegra and Tura is, we now have a 10% increased pad clearance. So even if your rotor is a bit wobbly, due to, I don't know, heat or just because it's a shit rotor, you will have that bit of clearance that should ha help you out so you would not have rubbing discs. What's also enhanced is the bleeding port. So it should, in theory be friendlier to bleed your brakes and I can confirm that it's really nice. We have this three millimeter hex port uh, with which of course you open the system and then you can put your fluid through. You have two like rubber covers that you put on in order to not have dirt, dust or anything like that in there. It's really really mechanic friendly and bleeding procedure with your three millimeter allen key. For that you had to have your seven millimeter wrench which wasn't really nice. You could potentially slip with the three millimeter hex key, if you have a good high quality one, uh, it's not really uh, probable that you're going to slip and, and, and damage any screws. Of course, in combination with the brake lever, servo wave, really, really nice. You have a contact point that is there quicker. As for the brake pads, we still have the same kind of brake pads that you used before, uh, organic, metallic, uh, anything that you want. Of course, you also can put in brake pads from third parties, such as we stop. The rear derailleur, of course, we don't have a front derailleur uh, on this group set. So I'm only going to be talking about the rear derailleur, which has seen a whole redesign from the ground up as well, which now really, really resembles a mountain bike derailleur, especially the Diore, which is the M6000, I believe. You can really see a big, big, big re resemblance. We have those uh, oversized, we have those bigger chalky wheels now, a cage that uh, looks really, really like the mountain bike derailleurs, parallelogram as well, shadow design, of course. What's really nice, of course, is the limit screws that you turn with a two millimeter hex key. I'm really, really fan of that. I don't really like the cross style screwdriver because uh, you could just really quickly uh, damage a screw like that. Really, really cool, shifts really smoothly. You see it right here. And all the other features are still intact. So like the clutch, so that you, uh, you would reduce your chain slap. The really radio, uh, GRX, which is now capable of taking a 10 to 51 cassette. In essence, it's a, just a 12 speed mountain bike cassette. That, of course, also an important point. With the GRX group set, you can now take a micro spline cassette, i.e., the 10 to 51, 10 to 45, I believe it exists as well, from SLX to XT to XTR, even if you want to. And of course, the GRX wheels, they also come in micro spline. So you see the gravel group set gets pulled uh, in the direction of the mountain bike group sets, which in my opinion really makes sense, uh, especially the set sizes which needed uh, to be bigger because we had GRX group sets with chain ring and cassette sizes that were just uh, too hard, too big, you can't really push a low uh, gear. And if you have a really, really steep gravel road, it would just not be enough. It's more like a, a road kind of uh, gearing that we had with the 36 cassettes and like a 40 or even 46. Uh, chain rings, I believe. So now with this one by 12 group set, we have a 42 chain ring and the 10 to 51 cassette. It's your nice low gearing, but let's carry on to the chain ring. 42 chain ring, as I said, the chain set, you see RX810 slash RX820, which of course uh, suggests that this is exactly the same chain um, set, crank sets that we had on the 810 group set. Now only the chain ring has been optimized for 12 speed chains. We have the narrow wide tooth profile, uh, so your chain does 
doesn't just jump off, uh, really, really nice. A chain for your information is a normal 12-speed mountain bike chain, so you can take any chain from the Ori to XT, XTR even, so the most expensive. But that's really nice, we have like a compatibility over there, so you don't need to buy specific 12-speed chains. So you can have your same chain on your mountain bike, on your gravel bike, and on your road bike. That's really nice if you happen to exchange them between the bikes, which is not really recommendable, but you just know at any time which chain to buy. If you have any problem in another country, etc., you would surely find this specific chain. So that's it, I believe. Of course, this group set also comes in 2x12 and in, in, in smaller budget versions. This right here is, of course, the A20 which will be like the most expensive um, mechanical group set. And also the DI2 group set, of course, um, surely soon to be announced because everything is turning towards electronic group sets and I'm sure that the GRX will jump on that train as well. If you have any more questions about this group set or any comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.